house queen. You never want to be a cop.
42 years ago, my friend Steve Trailer and I graduated from AMA. For those who don't, who can do the math, that was 1972. During a recent foundation meeting, Steve was nominated and elected to be the new treasurer of our organization. Those of you who know Steve are aware of his abilities with a financial statement and his passion for numbers. Steve has done some number crunching and is here to present us to us our financial picture now and in the near future. There will be time for questions after Steve's presentation, but in the interest of time um, and a presentation to come also by, by Krista, um, Steve, what we, we can do for questions. Because after dinner and Paul Hart's presentation, we are wide open for questions and dialogue and communication. So, Steve Trailer, the new treasurer of the Legal Online Association. <coughs> Thank you very much. I'm trying to get my coat. I got elected a week ago. Was it a week? <laughs> and Glenn had asked me, Glenn had taken me to lunch 12, 13 times trying to get me to be the treasurer. And I agreed to it sometime in March, in the middle of March. Glenn and I came down here, and it was the first time I looked at the books of AMA. Okay? And a lot of things I. A lot of things I don't really understand. I'm going to point them out to you. I'm going to tell you what I think the problem is. And I'm going to tell you how I plan to solve it. And we'll see what it looks like next year. Okay? As you can see, cash wise, we got about $292,000, $294. Total cash, $269,600 in Raymond James. So that's really the money we don't touch. We haven't touched that money in a few years, I understand. Correct, Kristen? Sure. Okay, we have to touch that money. In other words, everything we've done, when we, when we paid any of the scholarships, that money came out of operating. In other words, that money came out of the money that you guys set in. Okay? I'm pleased to hear about that, and you'll see why later. What I'm having a problem with, you guys are going to look at this, and you're, and you're probably going to see it in the next uh, in the next edition of the AMA. Our <coughs> assets at a $201,000 negative number. I don't understand that, guys. Okay? What I don't understand, I understand what, what amortization is, okay? And I understand what due from association is. That's the profit that we made over the last year's reunion, okay? $2,100. What I don't understand <coughs> is what's, what's a negative $59,594? I don't understand what that is. So I started asking the questions, and so that you know, at least we have the question asked. What, what I'm told is that. We had some sort of an audit done in 2010. And at that time, they asked Krista every month at the end of the month, you would take if we made money on Raymond James or if we lost money on Raymond James, and you would do an entry. And she did the entry. Well, that makes no sense. So I don't know why anyone would tell her to do that. If you make money at Raymond James, Raymond James ought to increase. If you lose money on Raymond James, Raymond James ought to increase, but it didn't. So they've been booking $59,594. I don't know what the hell it is. So I asked her, hey, what is it? So she sent me all, all of the entries, and I went through the entries, and I don't understand the entries, but, I'm, I, but I will between now and, let's say, the end of the year. Now, why do I say that? We've hired a CPA firm from a local area. I'm not sure where they are. They're from Stanton. Stanton, okay, called uh, Anderson White. Anderson White. And they will be our auditors, and they're, I don't know when they plan to start their audit, but I want that number backed out. I want to understand what that number is, and I want it gone. And I want it gone because if we move forward on any kind of a uh, grant, that's going to be a question. So I want to know what it is. Other than that, I can explain everything else to you, okay? Scroll up a little bit. Uh, the leasehold, and, 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 and this is a program called Quicken. So I don't understand Quicken, okay? I've never worked with Quicken. So this is Quicken's layout, and I understand it, but, you know, leasehold improvement is what the museum cost us to put in, <coughs> okay? Amortization is what we've written off up, up on that $338,000, and it ought to be shown as a net figure. Now, I'm going to figure out how to do it. If I can do it, if I can't do it, I'll explain that next year. All right? But I can't tell you what it is now because I'm not responsible for these figures. But I am now. All right, scroll up a little bit. Everything here is okay. The equity 
is broken down. I, I'm trying to understand. Most of these are restricted assets. This is for, uh, I want to say Spillman, but I don't think it's Spillman. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, Spillman. 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 All right. 25. I, I don't know what $6,500 is yet. It's a class. Okay. The, the 202,000 leasehold improvements reserved, that's really a reserve for the museum itself. I don't know that we need to show it that way, but I'll ask those questions later. Unrestricted net assets, in other words, for all the money that's in there, the only thing that we can really use, if we need to use it, is $30,868. Now, I don't like the way they present it to you, but that's what it is. Okay? Now, out of the whole statement, everything makes sense, except for that one entry up there. And I'm going to figure out what that is, and next year it'll be cleaned up. And if it's not cleaned up, I will be able to tell you what it is, and what it's comprised of, and why it's there. Okay? All right. Any questions on this? Quick? No. Okay, let's go to the income statement. This is fairly, this is fairly straightforward, guys. And I can go through it in five minutes or less, because you don't need to spend a lot of time on this. The next slide, we will want to spend a little time on it. This is our income. Our income comes in a heck of a lot of buckets, but the main money that we get are individual monies, corporate money, museum box, online, and chairman's roundtable. So the total donations amount to $105,178 for 2013. Uh, we took in some money on the AMET, subscriptions $2,300, which I was surprised at. Uh, advertising eight hundred dollars, which is what I was even more surprised at. So we have total income of that three thousand one hundred dollars. Special projects, which was a uh, the the Afghan kids Marines was a program that Bruce Hemp was working when uh, Larry was over in Afghanistan, and then we have our papers. So they put in two thousand three hundred ninety dollars. Scholarships. Somebody contributed two hundred dollars specifically towards a scholarship, and then we have the spillment money of ten thousand dollars. Scroll up a little bit. The Charlton intern internship seven thousand five hundred dollars. That's for who? The Charlton internship program. The summer program for the interns. Okay. For Sarah. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. Sarah, I'll, I'll, I'll get there. <coughs> Oh. All right, miscellaneous income, which was really not a whole lot, 227. Interest income, $7,272.42. That came from uh, Raymond Jank. The reunion income, golf was zero, but there's your profit for last year's reunion. That's the reunion in 2013, $2,171. All right, so total income for the year is $138,041. <coughs> That's what we survive on. That's not a whole lot of money, but that's what we've been surviving on. Now we have the admin expenses. We can scroll through this real quick. I don't have a problem with this. If I had a problem with any other guys, I would tell you. We're not overspending money, and we're really pretty tight on it. Uh, total administrative at $16,000. Going to page two, please. House expenses, $7,200. Special project and campaign, $1,600. Here we have the bad end. So do you understand what I'm, where, I'm, where I might be going with this? Postage and handling for that was $2,700. Printing was $16,000. The bad end cost us $19,394, for which we only collected $2,300 in subscriptions and $800 in advertising. That is the glue that binds this organization. Period. And we're, we're way off on that. So be it. We, you know, we're, we'll be working on that this year. Uh, internship supplies, I've got a problem with that. Then we have salaries, but I'm a problem with that. Roll up, please, thank you. Uh, don't have any problem with the museum expenses, utilities, obviously don't have a problem with that. And they've got fundraising, don't have a problem with that. This <coughs> expense is 4000 Point of the story is the total expense for the year was $139,000. Nine hundred seventy-five dollars. We had a we had a net loss actually of one thousand nine hundred thirty-four dollars. Okay. Uh, now I calculate a little bit, calculate things a little bit different. Some of this stuff, some of this stuff in this program is done on the accrued basis. 
God, I could talk about accrued accounting all night long, and I don't want to. Accrued accounting recognizes revenues when they <coughs> are not earned and recognizes expenses when they're not expensive. Okay? So I can kind of convert things to, to kind of cash basis, and we're going to get to that with this next schedule. And the one I want you to go to is the Excel file, sheet one.